Hi guys, this is Katie and today we are at Central World here in Bangkok. But first we need to go to the Apple store, can't book his AirPods. Okay, so the first shop that we are heading into today is a place called Good Goods. We actually haven't seen this place before in Central World, but it has some really lovely stuff. So they had these colorful wallets and uh, like organizers and bags. They had lots of like really bright, bold statement earrings and purses. A lot of these things were handmade and authentic to Thailand, which is really lovely to see. There were lots of really nice things here. I could have definitely spent a lot of money and bought a lot of things. There was also like a food and coffee section. So we loved, we love coffee. We love trying different types of beans. And the north of Thailand is known for having lots of different types of coffee beans. And they have some here for sale. They also had a few different types of curry, so we did pick up some mass man, we'll show you that later. And then we are heading to Starbucks. So the Starbucks in Central World is one of the biggest, it's not the biggest, I think it at one point was the biggest Starbucks, but I think it's now like the third or fourth biggest Starbucks. It's one of those reserve Starbuckses, so you can see lots of different types of things here that you wouldn't normally see in your typical type of Starbucks. We love making our own coffee. So I'm looking at these bigger ones here. I definitely think I'm gonna get um, some more things like this for over the Christmas holidays. Lots of Christmas decorations up. Obviously there's, a, there's actually three types of festive coffees here in Thailand this year. And one of them I've tried and they, they are pretty nice. So I'm gonna try and get some more in this one because it's a reserve when they have the reserve merchandise. I'm not sure how I feel about this merchandise. If I'm honest, I feel like it's really expensive for what it is um, because it has an R on it, which I know I do appreciate that that is kind of the significance of all Starbucks items is that it's more expensive because it has Starbucks on it. But um, yeah, I just wasn't really feeling it. There was a few nice things there, but nothing that I would be desperate to take home with me. If you are coming to Bangkok on a holiday and you love Starbucks then definitely head into this one because it has lots of Bangkok merchandise so all Starbucks will have some Bangkok merchandise but these like little espresso mugs we actually have them as well the Bangkok and Thailand pairings and you can get some for like Pattaya and Phuket um, and you can actually get them in Bangkok as well sometimes but you can't always get them in all of the different individual Starbucks stores but this one this big one in central world does seem to have a lot of stuff and it also has a bit of merchandise that is very specific to this individual store um, which is quite quirky we don't go here often enough to actually buy anything like that because it's not that significant to us but that is available there so like you can see this flask here has a picture of the starbucks central world store on the actual flask which i thought was quite nice they also have ones with the coordinates as well which is quite nice for 700 bar um, again they have all of these um, items that you can use to make your own coffee at home i love this christmas mug i think i might go back and pick this up before christmas 950 bar so it isn't who it isn't the most cheapest thing here but i kind of like it i also really like these reusable cups i think it's quite a nice idea to have some festive reusable cups um at the, in the home we also have, they have this Muan Jai blend. I think this is a blend that they have in Thailand and they have like a whole um, selection of like merchandise that is related to that. Um, also because it is Christmas, you will see a few Christmassy things here. So a tip that I'm gonna share as well though is that Starbucks in Thailand, like Starbucks merchandise in Thailand sells out so quickly. So they had the Christmas stuff out in November and it sold out so quickly. Like you can see there's not that much stuff left here. We were quite fortunate and bought quite a bit of it when it first came out. But you can get these like individual cakes made, which I'm not entirely sure what occasion I would have a pound of white chocolate cake <laughs> made for me. But um, yeah, they also have, because it is a reserve place, they have more food selection here. So they have more cakes. You can get these types of things. All of the 
like um, food that has the red sign is their Christmas special. So this red velvet whoopie pie is a Christmas special. We really like, I hear that the cranberry bliss bar is really good. The, the Christmas tree brownie is pretty good as well. Um, I the Yule log actually, they have like a slice of Yule log. That is amazing. I think you can get a whole one as well. Um, but I would be too tempted to eat all at once. So that is Starbucks and Central World. And then we are going to head outside and we are here in the morning. So normally in the evenings, if you head here, there is this food court area, this food market bit outside, but they do have lots of different decorations outside that you can see. It's super bright, sorry, but uh, I think, I'm guessing they normally have like performances here on the weekends. So it should be, a, if you're in Bangkok this Christmas, maybe check out some of the performances. So every year they have a big like um, display of decorations. The last few years have been a little bit quieter because of the way the world is. So it's interesting to see all the decorations are back. They've got lots of interactive areas as well. I can imagine this is really pretty at night. Uh, yeah, so definitely check it out. Hi guys. So we are home now. I'm just waiting for the lift. Um, we are gonna sit and relax and have some lunch. We've ordered from a place called Bolito, which has really good. Mexican food um, and yeah then I will show you what we have bought from Central World. Right I am back from Central World. I had such a lovely little morning out. Sorry my tinsel is attached to me. Um, I've got tinsel over this desk. We did buy a few other things. I wanted to show you because I've never seen this shop before. This shop was in, it was near the groove entrance, if that makes any, if like anyone knows where that is, there's a groove section of Central World where there's lots of restaurants and it's on the, like the bottom floor of that. It's called Goods Goods. And oh, there you go, that's the logo there. Goods Goods. And um, it's meant to be that everything is kind of like homemade, locally made like locally designed um and it looks really cute so i've got a few things so ooh, let me just show you first of all i got myself a fan i just thought this was really cute it's completely impractical i'm not sure when i use it but i thought it was really really nice i feel like it's more of a type of thing that i'd probably use as a decoration um then callum got this it's like a little wallet thing we were actually in central today because Callum's airpod one of his ears keep crackling apparently it's a common fault but um he's been a few times before and he went back again today to fix it um so he figured something like this might be quite good to put the airpods in and then I had to get these so they had a whole section of coffee that's from up north and like Chiang Mai and Chiang Mai which is known for coffee oh my goodness I can smell it it smells so good okay I love coffee as you might have already known so this is from Ban Rom Fa Luang in Chiang Mai, near Chiang Mai. It is the Bu Chi Duan Arabica coffee from the valley of in Chiang Mai. I don't know what any of that means, but if that means anything to you, let me know. Um, but this is from up north and it has, it is a medium roast, medium dark roast, but it also has caramel milk chocolate flavors to it. So I thought that'd be really nice. And then they also had Massaman curry paste which I absolutely love Massaman that's very exciting I think this was it doesn't have the price on it I think it was 149 baht um but yeah that's quite nice um so these are, are all wrapped up so I'll kind of peek you through they have these really nice cups that we're going to use we've got a little pair one is blue let me just show you where it's the elephant yeah so they've got like a little elephant imprinted at the bottom of it um, and then this one is like this brownie wooden color and the other one is like a bluey color and that was all we got to be honest we didn't do too much shopping so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you give me a thumbs up hit subscribe and i shall see you tomorrow for another day of vlogmas bye guys